welcome back to the podcast for exploring Rome and uh, its world. Today I want to speak about you about a monument nearby the Colosseum. As you are in that area, uh, there are two arches. One is very visible, is the Constantine Arch that we are going to talk later. The other one is at the entrance of the Roman Forum area. And I want to speak today about the Arch of Titus that is right there at the entrance of the Roman Forum. Through the Via Sacra, you will see that, and the Clevius Palatinus. Well, this arch was uh, built up by the will of Domitian, the younger brother of Titus, to celebrate the greatness of his brother who conquered Jerusalem in the 70 AD. So that when you are there and looking at the details and reliefs of the Arch of Titus, one of the scenarios is the triumphal march to celebrate the triumph of Titus, the conqueror of the Jerusalem. So you will see people carry on uh, on their shoulders uh, some items taken out of the temple of Jerusalem that was destroyed in that time. What is interesting, you will see the seven-armed candlestick, that is uh, the menorah, and uh, the symbol, the symbol of Israel. And uh, you will see also very visible uh, two trumpets that are the silver trumpets to call for the great festivals of the Jews. And, uh, and also, um, it's probably more difficult to distinguish that is the table of the presentations of the bread, the loaf of bread. And, um, and so those items were inside of the holiest of holies. Uh, and it was a, a specific... Uh, room inside of the temple where was also placed the Ark of the Covenant and all of those items were covered by gold so I can imagine we can imagine that the Romans entering the temple they were not actually so interested in the religious aspect of what the symbols were representing but their eyes were caught by the gold that was right right there inside of that room so that's why you know taking 20,000 Jews back to Rome and having them carry the items out of the uh, the temple and, uh, and that's what you see in, by looking the details of the relief inside of the Arch of Titus, that triumphal march in Rome. That happened in the 70 AD. And what happened in that period of time? Uh, the Titus fighter, the, the was uh, Vespasian, the father of Titus, uh, was already came with a, a project to build up what we know as the Colosseum, the great stadium for entertaining the people of Rome. But of course, this project was very expensive. So what to do with uh, these uh, items and people taken from Jerusalem? Well, uh, basically, uh, to build up the Colosseum, they need money. And so slaves represented money, uh, gold represented money. Uh, and so those 
Poseidon basically were reused and invested in the building of the Colosseum. So slaves were sold, the gold were recycled uh, to be used and invested to pay the construction of the Colosseum. But one item is missing and is the arch, the Ark of the Covenant. And we will talk more about that. So there is a lot of interest still today about where is the Ark of the Covenant. Probably many of you remember the movie of Indiana Jones searching for the Ark of the Covenant. Beautiful movie. If you didn't watch them, go and make a list to do that. But anyway, uh, many, many guesses about where is the Ark. Uh, let me stay uh, close to the Ark of the Covenant and the Ark Arch of Titus and because uh, many have guessed that um, the squared image uh, close to the trumpets, the silver trumpets the, um, for the Jewish festivals and maybe one even guesses about they were used for the fall of Jericho but anyway let's stay with the Ark of the Covenant, could be that image, but uh, is missing the top with the two angels with their wings touching each other. So where is the arch? Many hypotheses. Uh, someone says uh, he is in uh, Ethiopia, others uh, still in Babylonia somewhere. Uh, and possibly uh, Titus took even the Ark of the Covenants because especially the, the, the cover with the angels was full gold. And of course, Titus were, was interested in that. So he took all those items that today we see in the relief inside of, of the Arch of Titus and placed them in the Forum of Peace that was built up even by his father Vespasian. Today you have ruins of that nearby the Basilica of Cosma in Damiano. Uh, you can see some good parts of, of that, very interesting. Maybe we will talk later about that. But anyway, where is that? We don't know. Uh, it's still not there. Maybe, mm, you know, the, the gold was uh, in, invested in, to pay the expenses of the Colosseum constructions, if in Rome, or, uh, or maybe it was... Uh, taken by the vandals of Genserico when uh, in 455 they put the city on fire or uh, and then and then lost maybe in a in a storm that's that's some stories to say about but we can talk more uh, if you have question don't hesitate to write to contact me i would love to talk with you about these things and have a nice time and visit in Rome.